A Brookings man is facing a long list of charges tonight, accused of stealing a payloader and leading deputies on a wild chase on the edge of town. Kelland's Don Jorgensen was able to obtain exclusive video of the chase. He joins us now with more on how it all started and ended. Yeah, Tom and Kelly, Rico Jones faces nine charges, including grand theft, aggravated eluding, and intentional damage to property. Deputies say they've been involved in a lot of chases before, but never one involving a payloader. The Brookings County Sheriff's Office gave us dash cam video from the pursuit. It all unfolded Sunday afternoon during a rainstorm when they got a report of a payloader driving erratically into oncoming traffic. And then when we're talking about this big heavy machinery, obviously it's a very large um, piece of equipment that can easily strike uh, other vehicles or take up a majority of the roadway where we have concerns there. Yeah, and you just don't know how it's going to end. Exactly. I mean, any pursuit at any time, we have no idea, you know, what that end outcome is. Why is this person running from us? Um, obviously, they don't want to have contact with law enforcement. So that's always in the back of your head. Uh, and then there's just always safety concerns, you know, not just for the officer, but for the individual driving the vehicle, too. During the chase, another deputy turned around and joined the pursuit. They tried to stop the payloader, but Jones refused to pull over. At one point, you see him drift off the road, but he manages to pull it back onto the highway. Authorities pursued the payloader into the dead end of a trailer court, where authorities say it hit a mobile home and a shed, although you can't tell from this dash cam video. During the pursuit, deputies learned that the machine was stolen from a Brookings business. I got the owner of that payloader on the line because I think it's stolen from LG Everest. Jones gets out of the payloader and tries to run, but he was arrested and put in jail. At this time, they don't know if drugs or alcohol were involved. And then we recovered a vehicle um, that was actually driven by the suspect to, uh, to that location, um, but he ended up actually crushing his own vehicle with the payloader. And so uh, we, we tried to do a search as best we could, but um, we, we couldn't find anything or detect anything with the suspect at the time that would indicate any type of drugs or alcohol. This pursuit was one they won't soon forget, and it was all caught on camera. In my nine years here, um, I've never been a part of any heavy machinery uh, pursuits or anything like that. Um, speaking with our patrol sergeant, uh, Sergeant Langstrat, he and I kind of compared notes. We definitely haven't seen anything like that. We had to go back to our former patrol sergeant to even get something similar. Um, and that was, uh, we don't have an exact date. He didn't remember, but it was a combine that uh, actually got in pursuit with up in one of our smaller communities. Incredibly, no one was hurt. Jones's next court appearance is May 13th.